All right, gonna make a short video here. This is a screencast you're watching right now on my iPad. Um, just to make a quick video about how uh, I, as a math teacher, use explain everything to make videos for students. It's a great tool for for uh, uh, helping the students out and, and getting information to them. Uh, and so, yeah, so explain everything, edu. Um, EDU is an education version. I think there's another version. Not sure what the difference is. Maybe a cost thing there, but uh, the EDU one. There, I think there's a free version too that maybe just doesn't export. So you, you want to pay the money so you can export there. It costs a few bucks in the in the app store. So, uh, what we need to do first is we need to get a PDF. So you you can start out uh, in explain everything. You can just start with a blank page. Uh, or they have some templates. I've never quite used the templates, um, but uh, this might be kind of fun. I don't know. So you can use some of those templates there. But uh, usually what I do to start this off is I'll go find a PDF somewhere. Let's see. Like in my Google Drive here, got a PDF. And we're going to open that in. And we'll open that and explain everything. If it will let us, I need to go check for more. There it is. Copy to EU. And you can do this in a couple ways. I usually like to do it in separate slides. So we'll insert. And there it is. All right. So here we have a PDF and several slides. And uh, one thing that's useful to do here, if you um, if you actually grab this, this is just a picture. It's a picture on a big white canvas, and so it'll get all messed around there. So I'd recommend going to this information uh, over on the left, this little eye. Tap on that image, and lock the rotation. So this is a, this is just a good way, and I'll go to each of my pages and do this to start before I haven't even started recording yet. Okay, so right now, again, the video you're watching is, is screencast, so normally all of these tools are not seen by the, the in the video, uh, the final video. So anyways, uh, now let's go ahead and get started. So when I'm ready to go, I'll hit record here, and uh, we can edit here. So, you know, here we got a, here we have a triangle. I wonder how long that side is and so you can talk and write and uh, well, I guess that'd be a P um, talk to students you can uh, depending on how good it is, you can talk and write at the same time uh, you can work problems out and give give tips there okay this is the square root of 18 all right and so uh, let's see let's go ahead and simplify that that's the square root of 9 square root of 2 which is 3 square root of 2 all right and there we go so you can do that now another thing you can do here is there's this tool sometimes writing on an iPad is tricky like that 3 square root of 2 is a little sloppy so maybe I'll erase that and uh, um, down here yeah I'm, I, Again, you can see this on the screencast video, but the students won't see this. There's this little zoom, and it's the. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this video right here. So I paused my explain everything video, even though my screencast is still going. And so um, I'm gonna turn on this ninja view here. I'm not sure what it's called, but I like to call it the ninja view, and I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, and and, and on the video. Even if the video is rolling, um, it didn't actually change size. In fact, let's do this. Okay, so here's my ninja view. Notice that little rectangle in the middle here. Okay, so this rectangle is going on there. I'm going to start the video. And so now I'm going ninja view, and I'm going to zoom in. But uh, on the Explain Everything video, uh, students won't see this. And I'm going to write 3... Maybe I'll want this a little thicker because when I zoom out, it might show up. Three square root of two. There we go. Now it's a little nicer, a little neater. Now if I hit this reset button down here, that sends it back to the zoom. That's what everyone saw. And so it wrote it real tiny like here, even though I zoomed in and wrote. So, so a handy way to do that, okay? 
Um, another tool that might be useful is this. Okay, so here's another problem I want to do. And so sometimes videos can get a little bit long, like you might be falling asleep right now. I don't know. So sometimes videos might get a little long. So uh, um, uh, one useful thing to do is to stop the video. So we say, okay, uh, students who are watching this video, I'm going to go ahead and work this one out. Well, let's see. Uh, let's make that a little skinnier there. And 5 squared plus 5 squared equals Q squared. Now, um, you might say, oh, man, I just totally messed up. I said something goofy. I don't want kids to hear that. So I want to go back a little bit. So uh, up here, it says mix. There's there's recording options. You probably want to overwrite is It's usually what I want to do. So like I want to go back. I just said something really silly. And so I'm going to go back and... Uh, I wonder if I can play that. This might sound funny on the screencast video. I didn't work this one out. Yeah, let's see. I want to go, go here. Uh, I want to just kind of start that little bit over. It might get a little long. So uh, um, uh, one useful thing to do is to stop the video. So we say, okay. Uh, okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say right there. And you can see down on the bottom how the, you can see from the audio kind of where it's at. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start fresh here, that little little bit there. And so uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to hit record. It's going to tell me, do I want to overwrite it? Yeah, I want to overwrite it. Okay. So I'm going to try this one. And so i got to use my Pythagorean theorem. Now I'm going to hit stop. Now uh, you can still see this on the screencast. But if you look at the uh, other video that goes with this, it just stopped. And there is the Pythagorean theorem that we would use. Now if we solve this like we did last time, and again, if I want to make this kind of a quicker video, I just paused it again. Okay. So 50 equals Q squared. Okay. Now maybe I want to say something to students. So I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to hit record again. All right, so we get the square root of 50 there. I worked it out there, same kind of way. We've done this lots of times. And uh, now we just got to simplify this. So we're looking for a perfect square that goes into the square root of 50. Let's do that. And again, if I'm trying to make this kind of a short video, it, it, you decide where to, where to break it up. But if you want to, again, right now, they explain everything is paused. So I'm going to do a little work. Now I'm going to talk to the kids again. So I can break it up. Ah, the square root of 25, that goes into it. Okay, so square root of 25, we know. Okay, and there we've got 5 square root of 2. So this is 5 square root of 2. Okay, and so uh, now we notice, oh, is there a connection? Interesting. What's going on here? We've got 3 square root of 2, 5 square root of 2. Well, that's that. our video for today. We're going to stop it there. Okay, so um, lots of other tools you can use um, to make this video. Uh, you can insert lots of things. You can insert a web browser, videos, clip arts, all kinds of fun stuff like that. You get us crazy. And there's lots of tutorials on that with the explain everything. So then the last step here is to, uh, well, first we've got to save it. And so I'm just going to call this a sample video. Or let's just do it. Um, how to use explain everything uh, for math notes okay so all right and a quick save that'll save it back to these projects there it is okay and now I need to export this now when you're exporting this okay uh, you can uh, a couple things you can do by the way I like to sometimes export this as a, uh, a PDF so if you go export as a document then that'll make a PDF version of what you have and you can save it to your Dropbox or wherever your Google Drive there okay and there it is we'll send that over there so that just makes a PDF that's kind of nice so you can give it to kids um, and so then, uh, but what's most useful, let's actually go back here, is I want to send the video 
I'm going to send it to YouTube. You can connect your YouTube account and uh, you can edit what the little notes are if you want. This is a short video of about, maybe, about how to make a math tutorial on Explain Everything. And again, there's probably been lots better detailed things, videos out there. But on 12 call, okay, and you can change it. I'm going to want this to be on, um, yeah, I'll make it public. You can decide whether you want it to be public so everyone sees or you just have a link to send to people. Now, this can take a few minutes here, all right? So uh, it's going to prepare the project and then, um, and then it will upload. So uh, that's one of the downsides to explain everything. There's been other uh, whiteboard apps that I've used. This is kind of the only one that's out there. There's so some other ones, Doodlecast, something like that, that uh, have disappeared uh, over the last couple of years. And so, uh, but anyways, this will prepare it. It, 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 again, if, you, if your video is uh, 10 minutes, then this can take, uh, oh, this could take 30, 40 minutes. So sometimes it's kind of, kind of a pain to, it, it kind of renders this. And so that takes a while, but it does a pretty good job. And then it will export it. And also recently, uh, explain everything. Sometimes it gives some little errors. And if this doesn't work to send it straight to YouTube, you can send it to your photos on your iPad and then export it from your photos to YouTube. Or you can even, if you want to send it to your photos, you can even just attach it to Google Classroom. You don't really have to take it to YouTube. Um, however, YouTube's just kind of a, uh, a nice platform that, that works on all computers. Sometimes when you send it to Google Classroom or something like that, or send, send the video, it's too big, uh, or something like that. But Google Classroom's actually a, a nice way to, to send it also without going through YouTube. So. Anyways, we'll prepare this, and then I'll post this video along with the Explain Everything video, and uh, you can kind of watch the, the video that students would see and compare that to this video that uh, you're watching here, the screencast. So, hope that helps. Good luck. And uh, I found uh, this can be a really useful tool, and, and they get a lot of information, a lot of extra help out to students this way. So, good luck.